I can't remember if it's a 5 out of 5 or a 10 out of 10, but I have a very high rating um, for foot fetish websites. So, I mean, I feel like that's like a pretty high measure of success. I always like to start my morning with a little intentional journaling just because I feel like it really sets my intention for the day because I'm not a morning person. I kind of need to tell myself what day I'm gonna have, um, talk myself through it, get myself ready. So especially on a day like today where I might have a busy day or a really long day, I like to take five minutes and just set my intention. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then we will be on our way. I'm a big exercise junkie, meaning I actually hate exercising, and so I have to find the thing that makes me like exercising. My most recent obsession is rock climbing. I'm not a pro. <laughs> now that I've started bouldering, I exercise more than I would because I'm like addicted to bouldering. Because it feels like you're going to go play a game or something. Like it just feels more, um, it's way more engaging than other workouts. We're here? Um, Ready to climb. rock climbing or bouldering is that it's really like you're competing against yourself because every wall has like a shit ton of problems on it. They're called problems, like the little pathways. And so every time you go, you can actually track your progress. Like, oh, this week I was able to do like a V4. I'm like just about to be able to do V4s. Hard. I think it's very important that we document the powder monster and then also what the powder does to my hands. I need to like tear off the top layer of my hand to get rid of what's happening here. It's real ugly. I know one day they're gonna be like, what the f is wrong with Dove Cameron's hands? I am getting my 11th tattoo today and I really do get them like so often that this really is kind of a day in the life for me. I've settled on, I wanna get a single needle, um, either like a, like a pistol or a revolver or some type of firearm, but I want it to have either like a single rose or like a, a little bouquet um, coming out of it because I am very anti-gun and I am very pro-gun regulation and it's sort of like a nationally recognized symbol for peace um, and for anti-gun anti movements. And also, my friend Cameron passed away a few months ago and he, he had, was starting this um, organization uh, called Wielding Peace. He wanted to get influential people holding things that sort of looked like they were in the shape of a gun, but then it would be something artistic or, or peaceful. He did it with a bouquet of flowers, actually. And I think that that's really beautiful. And I've been trying to think of a tattoo to get for him uh, since he passed, and I just felt that this one was really appropriate. We are at my favorite tattoo parlor, 10,000 Waves. Um, this is Karen, and we're just kind of talking about like placement and sizing, and I kind of feel like I love that. Okay, let's do it that size. That's perfect then. Yeah, I mean, as long as it doesn't wrap, I think that's pretty perfect right there. What if we point it up the other way? So like this like the way? flowers like that? Yeah, you can. Do you like the big guy or the small guy? Oh, definitely this one, I think. The big guy. It looks cooler, and honestly, with the other one, the length is gonna match closer. I'm gonna let you see it in the mirror first, so you can just do different views of your arm, so you can see it in every position, make sure you love it, okay? My boyfriend always talks about wanting a neck tattoo, and I'm like, do it. It's hot, it's so hot. We like hired a model for my music video, and he had like a neck tattoo all the way up to here, and I was like, baby, you have to get this. I was like, Thomas, quit your job. Don't be an actor anymore. Just get all the neck tattoos and chest pieces for me. It's not that much to ask. And then put your arm down like that for a second. I love that. Right? You like? Better? More better? Hey, what was that? A long line. <laughs> okay. That was the first one I heard. Okay, well, how far are you? Because we're almost done. 
I love you, baby. I love you. See you soon. Okay. All right, go ahead. You can pop up and check that out. You're all done. Oh my God. You like it? <gasps> Karen. Look how nice that looks. Wow, y'all. Looks cute. If I wanted to, like if I had an event tonight, <laughs> could I oh. take off the wrapping? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God, That's you're my it. hero. Thank you, thank you. Thank you too. so much. You did great. Seriously. I love it. That was a fun one, thank you. I don't know how they even know where we are. I know, I know. A day in the life. <laughs> is the car ready? Yeah, it's right there. Oh, okay. Oh, I think that's him right That's him. That's him. It's much bigger than I thought it would be. I went bigger on purpose because one of the girls with me has um, like a really big one here. I had in my head like the tiny one. Oh, yeah, no. That's what I had in my head. No. <laughs> it's got a rose on it. It's a symbol for me. <laughs> I love you. All right, he's coming. We've been together for three years. It's nice to be in a relationship with someone who's like your best friend. He wanted to drive me and I said no. He's like, get in the car. I was like, no, I'm doing something. <laughs> hey, is, is it really too late? Is it a bad time? No, it's never a bad time. I'm not a driver. You can pick up the phone at any time, 24-7. That's right. If I call you at 3 a.m., I want you to answer. I will. It's beautiful. So. Are you excited for your song to come out? Yeah, can you believe it comes out in like, um, let's see, three years? It's already it out, out in Australia and Asia. And Bulgaria, apparently. <laughs> Wild. I also just kind of want to talk to you um, about two two things. One is um... oh shit. Hello. I'll never know. All right, so we are at one of our final stops of the day. I am in the studio right now working on new music because I kind of always am, and I wish I could let you guys hear it, but sadly, you're just gonna have to wait till it comes out. I love being in the studio, maybe even more so than I love being on set. I always feel like when I come to the studio, I can be like more myself, like I can feel really comfortable. Like you can come in your pajamas, you know? You can spend as long as you want getting the takes that you want and expressing yourself in the way that you want until you as the artist like feel really good about it. And there's like a really nice safety to that. And then you get to hear it probably like a week later. And that's always the most fun ever. I like to do a lot of songs on one day so that I can kind of get a lot of songs, like song after song after song after song, and listen to them all in a row. Oh, I love it. It's always the finished product that's like the most exciting. I take care of my voice in a lot of different ways because I use it in a lot of different ways. When I'm acting, I kind of don't care, take care of my voice at all, but I do a lot of musical theater. I'm at LA Opera, I did an operetta called The Light in the Piazza, but I have to really like train for stuff like that, so I have to go on vocal rest for like a week, sometimes depending, maybe even like a week and a half, two weeks beforehand. And then I'll go on vocal rest like after rehearsals, and you have to just kind of like not talk as much as you can. And then just like a lot of tea, a lot of warming up, a lot of technique. But then with something like this, it's really bad, but I don't warm up as much as I should because sometimes I kind of like the sound of like a tired voice, like especially my new single that, that just came out. I sound very like fatigued on the track and I think it adds to the flavor. So it's just about kind of like knowing when to push and when you have to take a rest and, and kind of like adjusting accordingly. It's just like anything else, you get better at it. So we just got home from the studio and we're about to get ready for the Vogue Lancome event and I forgot my keys. So Thomas just pulled in to save the day, but it has been like 20 minutes and we're freezing. This is why we can't have nice things. Come on inside. I love that like so many things happened today that weren't on the schedule. I guess just like, I, it's like a very eventful day in the life. We had a call with my manager. We had the paparazzi show up. We, you got locked out of your house. I got locked out of my <laughs> house. So basically because we got locked out for a full blown like half an hour, we are very short on time. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do speedy glam. This is Melissa and this is Glam. Two of the most beautiful, lovely people you'll ever meet. <laughs> so I usually am in glam for like two hours, maybe more. I mean, I feel like we could do it faster, but like we just, we like to talk and hang out. But on any given week, if it's like a really busy week, I might have like three, four days that we get glammed. I don't know, probably, I don't think I've ever had a week where I had to do more than three days of glam. I kind of feel like the more glam you do, 
the less you really even notice that it's happening. <laughs> you just don't notice. You get used to people touching you. You get used to people touching your face and fixing your clothes and sticking their hands up your shirt and stuff. It's just part of the job. It's kind of like playing dress up. I think it's more fun to get glammed up when you start like experimenting and doing stuff you've never done. Like we've never done this kind of hair tonight. As somebody who has like a lot of anxiety, I feel like events can sometimes be really overwhelming for me. Getting photographs is, it causes anxiety. I'm always like, oh God, how do I look normal? And you never ever look normal. You like somehow make a face that you've never made before in your life. <laughs> But like I've had fun at a lot of events, especially this year, especially now that I feel like I kind of have more of a, a community in the industry. It's less like, what's going on? And it's more like, oh, I know that person. I feel like I need some eye drops and then some like lower mascara and then I'll hold yeah. Babe, do you want to come see it without its cover? Yeah, bring peanut butter. You're her dad. And it doesn't, it, she like really did some Oh, work. I love it. I want to get one. <laughs> Oh, I love this cat. I love I love my cats. It's the sweetest soul. All right, I am ready to go and we are heading to tonight's event. All right, folks, so we are finally at the Lancome event. Thank you so much for spending the whole day with me. I love you and I'll see you next time.